Hello everybody and welcome back to another Stun Brothers weekly tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to be teaching you how to create the Lego Impossible Triangle, which actually just looks like this. There's also a couple of other names that the Impossible Triangle goes by, such as Penrose or Infinite, which Infinite makes sense because just look at those sides. So before I start this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe down below to see more extraordinary videos just like this one. Anyways, let's jump right in. Here are the pieces that you need to make your Lego Impossible Triangle. And it's recommended that all of these pieces are one color. So you're gonna need two two by fours, six two by twos, a two by 10, three flat two by sixes, a flat two by four, and two two by twos. That's a tongue twister. If you don't have all the pieces mentioned, you can try to make it work with different pieces. Do you see how I have two two by four bricks? You can substitute those for a two by eight brick. If that doesn't work, watch this shorter video that I made on how to make a Lego impossible triangle with less pieces. Now for the building stage. We're gonna build this Lego impossible triangle from the ground up. The first piece that we're gonna use is the two by six. Then we're gonna take a two by two and put it at one end of it, just like that. Now we're gonna take our longest piece, the two by 10 and put it on just like that. So it's sticking over the edge. Now we're going to take the two by four piece flat and put it on the bottom. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is cover this top up. We're gonna take the two by six, put it on top over the two by two and then the two by 10 some of the two by 10, so that we have just like that right now. Uh, then we're gonna take this two by two piece and we're gonna put it right there. So this is what it's looking like so far. Now take the rest of the required two by two bricks and put them there. So five two by two bricks like that. You see how we're building the base? Now we're building the vertical part of it. Now go ahead and take your two by two and put it, the flat two by two, and put it on top of all of the two by twos uh, in this vertical row. Now take one of your two by fours and what we're gonna do is put it this way. It actually doesn't matter which way you put it. It just depends which angle you have to look at it um, if you put it you know, if you want to stick your uh, top side this way or this way. Now, take your two by six, your other two by six, and we're going to put it on the underside. Now, take this two by four and finish the triangle. So, there you go. That is the complete triangle with all the pieces that were required. If you put in the effort to making your very own impossible triangle, you're probably gonna wanna take a picture of it. And taking a picture of it is harder than it seems. You may think that lining up the two unconnected ends is all that there is to it, but there's one major fact that you've left out, lighting. Lighting makes your impossible triangle look convincing. This picture is with poor lighting, making it obvious that two ends aren't connected while great lighting will fool a lot of people. It will take you a lot of trial and error in getting this right, but this is where I put my lamps so that the shadows were mainly on the right side of the impossible triangle. Also, another pro tip if your triangle isn't staying up is to use either putty or clay to hold it up. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you successfully created your own Lego impossible triangle. Now, if you want to learn how to draw an impossible triangle, go ahead and click this tutorial up here, made by me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to Stun Brothers right here, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.